Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing my February favorites. I know everybody says this, but I cannot believe February is over and we are in March. It is crazy. So these are all the products that I've been loving in the month of February. There's a little bit of like, you know, skincare, mostly makeup, things like that. But I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I hope it gives you suggestions of things to go out and buy and lets you know what I've been loving. So hopefully you love it too. If you guys do go and get the products that I suggested, don't forget to, you know, tag me in a picture of you using the product or let me know on Twitter or something like that. My Twitter and Instagram will be linked down below. It is just Emily underscore Freibler. That is all my social media, Instagram, uh, Twitter, and Snapchat. Don't forget to follow me on Snapchat to see like first impressions of products and just you know my shenanigans of life <laughs> but anyway yeah I hope you guys really like this video and let's just get started all right let's talk about the first product that I use to self tan obviously right now I do not have to self tan around I am very very pale this is probably as pale as I get um but the self tanner that I use is the St. Moritz uh dark Tanning mousse. I love this stuff. I've gotten some of my friends to use it. My sister used it for a little while. It is just the best tanning mousse. It is so awesome. You just put it on at night and it you look a little crazy. But then when you wake up in the morning, you rinse it off and you are bronzed and glowing. If you guys have seen, you know, my other videos where I'm tan, I have been wearing this. Um, it is just so nice and it's affordable. You can get it at Ulta. It's so much more affordable than like Loving Tan or, you know, St. Tropez, anything like that. It's so much more affordable and it might not last as long, but I love it. And it, for how affordable it is, I don't really mind that it doesn't last as long. And I also find that it doesn't come off really patchy or anything like that. So I love this stuff and you guys should definitely check it out. All right, the next product is actually a mask that I've been using quite a bit lately. Um, you might have noticed that I had quite a bit of acne um, the last probably couple months after um, Christmas and things like that. I got really bad. So I've been trying to use masks and things to clear up my skin, and I love masks. And this is the Sephora Mud Mask. Right, this I is a mud mask. This is what it looks. Well, hold on. Okay. This is what it looks like. You honestly look like a monster when you first put it on. And then it dries to a lighter color. And it is seriously the best mask. Oh, and make sure when you use it to really rub it in your skin for about a minute. And that'll just make sure that all the gunk and stuff gets out of your pores and everything like that. That's something that I struggle with is clogged pores because I do have acne prone skin, oily-ish skin. I get a lot of clogged pores around here, my forehead, and my chin. So this mask really helps to draw out those things. It is from Sephora because it is Sephora brand. So it is about $20, which I think is a little pricey in my opinion for a mask. But it has really helped my skin and I still have quite a bit left. Like, let's see, I still have a lot left in there. And I've been using it for a while, so I think it's worth the investment if you're looking for a mask that will really, like, detoxify your skin. Oh, and also, this does not dry out my skin. Like, it does not feel like, oh, my God, I need water after this mask and, like, you really need to put on your moisturizer. You don't really feel like that with this mask. So that's another reason why I really like this one compared to ones I found at the drugstore. Sephora Mud Mask is a must in my skincare. We're going to move on to the makeup products. The first makeup product I want to talk about is something that I rediscovered like recently, probably like, um, yeah, this month. And, <laughs> duh, it's in my favorite favorites. So this is a concealer that is all over YouTube. Like everyone uses it. And I used to use it a lot about last year, I want to say. And I just wanted to try, you know, other concealers and things like that. And I never really went back to this one. So I was looking for a new concealer and I was like, oh my gosh, I need to try Maybelline Age Rewind. So this is what it looks like. I've used it in a tutorial of mine and I love this stuff. It's very creamy and blends really nicely. The only thing is it's not super full coverage. So if you really need to cover up like dark circles and stuff, this might not be your best friend. Um, I use sometimes a color corrector underneath that and that helps with my dark circles and stuff like that. 
but I love this concealer. It's so creamy, so blendable, and it is a must-have in my opinion. So check this out. It's at the drugstore, which obviously most of my products are because I love the drugstore and affordable products because I am in college and I need affordable products. Duh. All right, next we're going to move on to brows. So on the days that I really actually want to try with my makeup and like spend time, not try, okay. I want to spend time, you know, doing my makeup. I have been reaching for the Ardell, um, I think, I don't know what it's called. I think it's the Ardell like brow pomade. It is so nice. This is what it looks like. I'm pretty sure I got mine at Sally Beauty of all places, which I think is so weird. But this is what this looks like. Actually, I think you can get this at CVS as well. And it is just a really nice brow pomade. It is what I'm wearing on my brows today. It's just very almost effortless, but you do have to be careful with it because you can, you know, overdo it. And your brows can look a little crazy. But I do really like this stuff. And I've been reaching for it a little bit more than my NYX micro brow pencil. So... I love this stuff. The next brow product is something that I got in an Ipsy bag in like July or something a long time ago. But this is the Elizabeth Mott Queen of the Fill Tinted Brow Gel. And I have mine in light medium. So this is what the product looks like. It is just the nicest little tinted brow gel. I love it. The spoolie is teeny tiny. It looks a lot like the Benefit Give Me Brow, and I'm sure it is pretty comparable. I've never actually used that. Before this one, I was using the NYX one, but the only thing I have kind of a, a little problem with is the spoolie is a lot bigger, so it's kind of harder to make sure you're getting on your brows and not your skin, if you know what I mean. So this one is so nice because the spoolie is little, and I love it for days where I'm doing kind of like no makeup makeup or no face makeup, just brows in uh, lashes, stuff like that. So I love this tinted brow gel from, I think, yeah, Elizabeth Ma. Elizabeth Ma. The next product is one of my favorite products, product categories, I want to say. It is mascara. I am a killer from mascara because I don't use false lashes very often and I love bold, bold lashes and I love them to be not clumpy but like very voluminous and something that helps with that is a primer for your lashes and this mascara actually has it in it. This is the L'Oreal Voluminous Superstar Red Carpet Black Mascara. This is what it looks like. I got this on a whim around Christmas time and I have been loving it. So you get, it says one and two, so you just take this off and it is a white primer, like so, and then you let that, or at least I let that dry a little bit, and then I take the black, the black side, and as you can see, it is like a curved wand like this with natural fibers, and this is like my favorite type of wand. I love one that is curved a little bit to get all the way to the outer and inner corners and then one with natural fibers because I feel like natural fibers make my lashes look the most voluminous and the best. I just, I like natural fibers way better. All right, so after mascara, we are going to go on to cheeks and stuff like that. So first product I want to talk about is from ColourPop. It's their Super Shock Cheek in Lunch Money. Unfortunately, it's kind of rubbing off there, the brand logo stuff. But this is seriously the prettiest highlight ever. And it, like, honestly looks so much more, not natural, it doesn't look natural, but it looks like one with your skin because it is that weird, you know, moussey cream feeling. This is what it looks like on my finger. Um, it's just such a stunning formula because it melds with your skin so well and you don't have to like worry about getting that powdery look for your highlight and then, you know, dab it, dab it with a sponge or like anything like that. It's just so pretty and I think everyone should try out ColourPop stuff because I don't know if you can see that. I did use this in a tutorial if you want to see it in action but I think everyone should try ColourPop because their products are so inexpensive and they're just 
so amazing. Like, I love ColourPop. I'm so happy. My boyfriend got me stuff from ColourPop for Christmas. So this is definitely a favorite this month. I have been loving it. This is unfortunately the last product I have to share with you, but this is from Wet n Wild, and Wet n Wild actually reformulated their blushes, their color icon blushes, which is one of this this one. They actually had this um, this shade before in pearlescent pink, but it is a new formula. It is the most pigmented blush I have ever used in my entire life. Which is good and bad. Good because I think this is about $3 and it'll last you forever because you only need like the littlest amount. But bad because you can totally overdo it on your face. So if this is me blending it in to my hand there. My hand is so pale. <laughs> okay, but that's what it looks like blended in. I do have it on my cheeks today if you can tell. And I just love this blush. It is so inexpensive, so blendable, so like creamy smooth. It's just awesome. And you definitely need to try this out because it is so inexpensive. And you can get it at like Walgreens, Meyer if you're in the, um, I think it's Midwest. Uh, Meyer, you know, a lot of places carry Wet n Wild. Even Target has these. And it's just the best blush for your buck. So... Definitely check these out and you won't be disappointed. Alright guys, that is everything for my favorites video. I hope you guys enjoyed listening to me ramble about products that I love. This is something that I love doing and I want to incorporate favorites videos into my channel now every month of the year because I just think it's so informative and so nice to hear what people think about products all in one like group. This is stuff that I've been using all month long so I definitely have a very good opinion on it and I think that is very valuable when it comes to buying products because if you're not me you won't spend money on new products when they first come out and things like that like you're gonna want a good review or something to convince you to buy the product and this is kind of what I'm here for so anyway I hope you guys loved this video don't forget to follow me on Twitter snapchat and Instagram I would really like to see if you guys picked up these products don't forget to tweet me or tag me or whatever the social media thing is but thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video bye this is their super sh super sock Super sock cheek. <laughs> Alright. Seriously though, yeah.